Hey everybody, Fierce Filmstress here, and I am ready to talk to you guys about the new Star Wars movie, Solo. And I know there were mixed anticipations for this because when I'm gonna be honest with you, when I first saw the trailer for it, I was really rolled my eyes. I was like, oh God, here we go. Is this necessary? But then I saw Donald Glover give that little sly smile, trying to give his best Billy D. Williams. And I said, you know what? I have to see this. I am here for Lando, okay? I'm here for young Lando. Let's see what they can come up with for him. And for me, after sitting through this over two hour movie, I am sorry to report that this one is a miss, okay? Um, although there were a couple of, you know, somewhat interesting characters and a fairly decent plot, this movie um, is just basic. I'm sorry, like I kept saying it to my husband when we were watching, I'm like, yo, this movie is so basic. It's just not memorable. It's just not engaging. And I wish that it was. And I, I, I'm gonna like, I'm not gonna take anything away from Donald Glover. He did a, a great job of giving his best Billy D. Williams interpretation. And even the, the actor that they had playing young Han Solo or younger Han Solo, you know, he, he tried his best. He doesn't look like Harrison Ford, okay? Can we just start there? But, you know, they just picked a guy who could kind of maybe talk like him a little bit, maybe try to get the wink in his eye, like just kind of do something, I guess. He does resemble him somewhat, squint with one eye, other eye closed. But overall... <laughs> This movie just proved one thing. There is only one Hans Solo, and his name is Harrison Ford. That's it. We don't need a backstory for Harrison Ford's character here without Harrison Ford. And unfortunately, we cannot turn back the time to make him look younger. And I know that they are capable of doing these, you know, things where they can make people look younger like they did with Robert Downey Jr. in that one scene in Captain America Civil War. But um, yeah, that's not gonna work for a whole film. We're just gonna be scrutinizing it and looking at, oh, is that uh, enough like him? I don't know, but I'm just here to tell you, okay? There's only one Han Solo and his name is Harrison Ford and he's all you need. Okay, you do not need this movie. It is so, so unnecessary. It doesn't add anything compelling to his backstory to help explain or push forward new meaning into who he is in the movies that he has appeared in. So to me, this one's a mess, you guys. I, I know if you love Star Wars, you're gonna go see it. I mean, honestly, I love Star Wars. Check my Vader shirt. I love this shirt. Um, but it's not one that you're going to need to watch again. Sorry. I mean, I'm going to say two and a half, maybe three out of five Twizzlers here. Um, because it's not a bad movie. It's not an unwatchable movie. It's just a forgettable one. It's just one that is unnecessary. So if you go check it out, please let me know what you think. I'm so curious and I wanna to talk to somebody about it. But for me, you know, you don't have to. If you don't make it to the theater to see this and you end up checking it out when it comes out on cable, you'll be okay. And even when it comes on cable, don't be pressed. Unless you love Donald Glover or you're just a diehard fan. But anyway, I'm gonna go. And if you see it, let me know what you think and I'll talk to you guys about the next one. Bye.